What's up, boys? We can't even get back here on YouTube without PewDiePie being called racist. <laughs> so, you might be like, what? They call him PewDiePie racist already? Of course they are! Because that's just what the media does. So, you're probably thinking, I'm uploading a video right now, but you're probably thinking, where did you see this article? So, let's type in PewDiePie. Because you know PewDiePie's been on a break. And, can you believe it or not, they've already called him racially edgy. Now, in his comeback video from his break, Pewds um, apparently was saying some racist stuff in some way, in some form. And here on the article, I say, PewDiePie is back on YouTube again and back to his own ways. In his return video, he laughs about the coronavirus and Chinese language. Now, if you watch the video, all he did was just make fun of the fact, because everyone thought that people, everyone thought that they were going to die from the coronavirus. And there was people who did die. But I think people are taking it too seriously. They're looking to, of course, he doesn't think that the coronavirus was like, let me put it like this. How can I explain this? Because I'm not trying to defend him, but like from what I got from the video, when he was just making fun of the corona, he wasn't making fun of people dying and having the coronavirus. He would just say, oh, I hope it didn't get me. Like he was joking as in, oh, crap, it could have gotten me. I think that was the joke. I, yes, it's a little edgy, but, you know, I mean, I don't think he meant any harm by it. I don't think so. And then mocking the Chinese, Chinese language. I don't think at any, in that, any point in that video he even mocked the Chinese language. I think he was actually speaking Japanese, full-on Japanese in this video. So that is where they lost me with the whole Chinese language. I didn't hear him say a fucking Chinese word. I could have sworn he spoke full Japanese, bro. Like, that's what I saw. That's what I saw, dude. That's what I saw. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I heard the language wrong. That was full-on Japanese, bro. I know Japanese. And then, like the mask. Like I said, the mask and stuff. He lives in Japan. Um, is he really that racist? Would he want to go around... You know, Japanese people or Asian people, if he was racist or thought was something was wrong with the coronavirus, maybe, I don't know. And people are making memes about the coronavirus all the time. Like, what the fuck? I don't think this was a bad video. I just think people, I don't think it was, I don't know, man. They just got this guy under a microscope. I don't even want to read the rest of the article, but we're going to go through and see what they said, you know, just for the video's sake. It wouldn't be a classic racist PewDiePie moment. Wow. <laughs> wow. A class. They they make it seem like this man on the regular is a racist. You see what the fuck the media is doing, man? Classic racist PewDiePie moment without mocking Chinese or making a good laugh at the expense of people dying and having their livelihoods ruined. This is a little too extreme for me. They're going too far. PewDiePie is back after a 37-day YouTube hiatus. So he's been gone for about 37 days. He enjoyed his, I'm, I'm glad he enjoyed his break, dude. He's probably, you know, with his wife, doing all the things he wants to do with his wife. Um, there you go. Uh, and he's back to his old ways right off the bat. Okay. And it's, I don't know. His return video is rife with racially edgy humor. Okay, whatever, dude. Okay. Okay, okay, you, okay, okay, this article has no credibility whatsoever. PewDiePie, the king of gaming YouTube, took a break last month. It was a momentous event for his channel after 10 years of daily uploads. That grind is tough. Don't underestimate that grind, boys! But he made an awfully big production out of it for essentially a month-long break. He gave his fans the impression he'd be gone much longer. Not really. I didn't think he'd be gone that long. Anything to juice those views, it worked. Fans binge watched the final video over 23 million times by the time Felix returned Friday. <laughs> smart move. Smart, smart move. I don't think he like sucked the views out. I think like he was just it wasn't a big deal. He was leaving. He didn't make it seem like he was leaving. The media made it seem like he was leaving. That's probably why I got a ton of views. 
See what the media does? They 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 start something, misinform the public about PewDiePie, and then turn around and use the misinformation against them. This is how fucking fucked up the the, the mainstream media is. And his first video back on YouTube, Pewds makes the same racially edgy jokes that got him into trouble with the press in the first place. Look, guys, I don't give a fuck about PewDiePie that much. I like PewDiePie. I like his stuff. I learn a lot from him. But I have no desire to defend this guy. I have no desire to uh, want to collab with this guy in the future or want some of his success or whatever. Or some of his subscribers. I'm just telling him straight like it is. This whole article is bullshit. It's bullshit. It's clickbait. It, it, bruh. PewDiePie laughs about coronavirus, mocks Chinese. It wouldn't be a classic racist moment, that, 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 right? So it says, they actually did. Wow, this is weird. This is so weird. Pewds starts off the video saying, since I was in Japan during the time of the thingy, I bought about three boxes of these. I, I was like, it's going to happen. I'm going to die. He also calls coronavirus Corona Chan. What if Corona Chan got me? In Japanese, Chan is a term of endearment. <laughs> Felix took him at the aim, took aim at the coronavirus outbreak in his first video back on YouTube. Wow, okay. After dismissively calling the worst pandemic since SARS. Wait, hold on. You you guys are forgetting this man is an American, okay? You guys are treating him like an American white person. That's racist. After dismissing dismissively calling the worst pandemic since since SARS, the thingy in Chan, PewDiePie displays a box of 3M surgical masks. Then he actually puts one puts one on and dabs and starts mockingly speaking in Chinese. He wasn't speaking in Chinese, I don't think. Xinjia Fazu. I guess it is Chinese, but god damn. What the fuck? That's crazy, bro. You can tell it's just mockery because he isn't saying anything that makes sense. He says something like, Apricot Blossom Town in Mandarin Chinese. Okay, but that doesn't mean it's racist. Like, where did they get racism from? Where did racism come from in this? This is crazy. You can joke about stuff, right? Yeah, I remember you can joke about stuff. Very cool. Yeah, you guys seem to not even be able to take a joke. PewDiePie's joke is something like, isn't it funny how scared everyone is? Well, yeah, everyone is kind of overly scared about the coronavirus. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Now, this is just getting ridiculous. I need you guys to see this next part. Pewds makes racial comparisons between Europeans and Japanese. Dude, I watched the whole video. I didn't hear one fucking thing. I didn't see that. What are you talking about? It turns out really... A it turns out it really was about the beard the whole time. Then PewDiePie left his calling card when he referenced Lord of the Rings and compared different races to different different human races to the different races in J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy Middle Earth. Okay, he says, still not as good as Japanese toilets, okay? The biggest disappointment of all time coming back from Japan every time, every time I sit on the toilet here. The disappointment hits you. It hits your buttocks. Hmm? Still not as good as Japanese toilets, okay? Do you guys hear this? Every time, every time I said, he's basically saying Japan's toilets are better than the toilets he has to deal with in the UK. How the fuck is that racist? If anything, he's talking about white people's, the way they make toilets. What the fuck? It's cold and it doesn't spray and you have to wipe. And you realize that you're the savage and they are the elves, just like in Lord of the Rings. I don't get how that was racist. It's okay, I don't... 
I don't get how it's racist. It's fascinating Felix would make this reference. Okay. I don't get it. Tolkien was dogged by the same criticisms that his work featured cryptic racist undertones. Lord of Racism. Critics view trilogy as discriminatory. In the fair, nearly five decades since Lord of the Rings was first published, Tolkien fans were willing to overlook parts of the text some condemned as racially insensitive. Others have asked, was Tolkien really racist and examined the possibility of racism in Tolkien's works? Could this be a coded message from Felix that he him sees himself as unwilly, uh, willfully misunderstood by fringe racists and overly politically correct intellectuals alike? What? Huh? This went too far. This is so deep. I don't even think this deep. I don't want to. Either way, that was a pretty funny joke. And if anything, he's wisecracking on his own race for not being as elevated as the high-tech toilet civilization that made a pair of plumbers some of the world's most iconic heroes. So he's really taking, a, he's wisecracking on his own race, really. But they're trying to call him racist, which makes no sense. Kudos, by the way, the PewDiePie fan who called the real reason why PewDiePie took a break from YouTube. Pew says in his return video, that's a good first update, beard, whatever, whatever, whatever. I think this whole shit, it, really, this is so bad that it's really a waste of time. I feel like I really just wasted 12 minutes reading this bullshit, this propaganda bullshit. We're going to be fighting the media till the end of time for this man. It's crazy, man. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Arlenators. Peace.